Welcome to this AASL Learn to Tweak course for AASL members. I'm Jane Lofton and I propose this course to AASL primarily as a way to get more people using Twitter as part of their personal learning network and for school library advocacy. Just as an FYI, I've taught earlier versions of this course both for AASL and for California School Library Association, my own state association, before conferences. As a result, we've not only increased tweeters during conferences, um, we've increased, increased tweeting um, afterwards, and we've built a great cohort network of course participants. By me, Twitter is one of the very best social media tools for professional learning and for advocacy. It can also be used with students in a variety of great ways for learning about news, doing research, and more, but this course is going to focus primarily on getting you up and going on using it effectively for your personal learning and school library advocacy. <clears throat> Some of you taking the course already have Twitter accounts and, and want to improve your use of it, while others don't yet have a Twitter account. So I'm going to start right at the very beginning for those of you without an account. I hope that those of you with an account will bear with me while we go through the basics. I promise we'll get on with material that applies to everyone very soon. So, what is Twitter? Twitter is an online social um, media network and microblogging service. Users send and re retweets either on computers or mobile devices. It's considered microblogging um, because tweets are restricted to 140 characters in maximum length. That means that you, as a tweeter, have to be extremely concise about what you write, and that you, as a tweet reader, can get through browsing lots of tweets in a short amount of time. Twitter ha tends to have a bad rep with people who don't understand it. They think that people, celebrities and non-celebrities alike, use it to post stuff like, oh, what they had for breakfast. And truth be told, that is how some people use it. Sadly, some of my personal celebrity authors I was initially so excited to follow disappointed me with surprisingly mundane posts about their daily routines. But Twitter is really about how you use it and who you follow. And used in a savvy way, it can connect you with other school library people, teachers, authors, experts in any field, and more in a global community that will enhance your knowledge and skills, improve your lessons and practice, and help you help your teachers and students connect with experts. And now I want to share a bit about how this class will be organized. While I'm recording this video to introduce myself to you, I mostly will be giving written or text instructions for activities. My suggestion is to spread those activities over the course of each week so that you don't have too much to do in any one sitting. And really, the best way to use Twitter is generally in small, regular spurts. Do, though, make a commitment to yourself to complete each um, activity for that week before Sunday night so that you'll be all ready to go with the next week on Monday morning. The whole idea of this course was to get you going and comfortable with Twitter at a not-too-fast and not-too-slow steady pace. And it's important to keep in sync with your classmates who will be following you and who you will be following to form a team. So, what's next? Well, please read the week one information and assignments. Be sure to get in touch with me if you have any questions. Um, do please use our course discussion forum for any questions or comments that others would also want to know about. But feel free to email me directly if you have any individual questions or comments. Thank you so much for participating. I look forward to getting to know all of you and following you on Twitter if I don't already know you. I really appreciate your signing up. So let's get started.